There are around 8.7 million species of plants and animals in known existence, and there might be more undiscovered. Our planet is quite special, and no matter how extreme the environment is, it seems like life finds a way to flourish. The Earth is the perfect place for life, and it shows just how diverse our ecosystems are. With that being said, it's expected that there are creatures out there that are so bizarre and unusual that you won't believe they exist until you see them. From the Ashulot to the Venezuelan Poodle Moth, if these 15 creatures were not filmed, no one would believe it. Number 15. Ashulot Until recent years, the Ashulot is still not known by many. Thanks to the internet and exotic pet keepers, these creatures are now getting recognized all over the world. With feathery gills sprouting from their heads, webbed feet, and beady eyes, these creatures look like tiny dragons. Legend actually has it that the Ashalot is actually Shodol, the Aztec god of fire and lightning in disguise. The god chose to take the form of this dragon-like salamander to avoid being sacrificed. Ashalots are pretty amazing creatures, and they captured the interest of the public a long time ago. They were first brought from Mexico to Paris in 1864, and they became part of the robust pet trade ever since, although they became more recognized in recent years. Ashalots are amphibians that remain in their young form all throughout their lives. The phenomena is called neoteny. They start breathing with their gills, but they develop functional lungs as they grow older. Oh, and they can also breathe from their skin. I'd say, though, that the Ashalots' most eye-catching feature is their Mona Lisa smile. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Bubble-Eyed Goldfish Goldfish are classic aquarium pets, but have you ever heard about the bubble-eyed goldfish? They're more eye-catching than the usual goldfish for sure. These fish look like how a goldfish would if they got stung by a bee. They grow up to 4 inches, and they can live for 10 to 15 years depending on how well the owners take care of them. You might freak out if you see this fish for the first time. Their cheeks look puffed up similar to a squirrel's cheek filled with food. Bubble-eyed goldfish actually got their name because of the sacs under each of their eyes. This is their main selling point. Many breeders try to achieve a bigger sack to sell the fish at a more expensive price. However, having a larger sack means that the fish is more vulnerable to damaging them, and it also reduces their vision. These guys may sound high maintenance, but they're great centerpieces for any aquarium. Number 13. The Eye Eye Meet the Eye Eye if there are goblin sightings reported in the Madagascar, then there's a huge chance that it's just an eye eye. This creature is arguably the weirdest primate on Earth. The animal has the face of a possum, a tooth of a mouse, and an ear of a bat, which makes it resemble a goblin. These creatures grow up to 14 to 17 inches tall from head to body, and they can weigh up to 4 pounds. Many locals considered them to be so hideous that there's even a nasty lore attached to these animals. According to local legend, eye eyes are the harbingers of bad luck and death. This is why some people finish them off on sight to stop themselves from suffering from ill luck. This lore sadly led to the death of many eye eyes, which forced the authorities to mandate a law for their protection. Now you may be wondering how they got their name. It's actually quite funny. You see, the term eye eye came from the phrase I don't know in Malagasy, which means the animal got its name because people were so confused by it or because they don't want to even think about the animal. To add to their creepy features, they're also the world's largest nocturnal primate. They spend their time munching on midnight snacks on top of trees, sneaking around the forest canopy. They mostly sleep the day away while they're tucked inside their elaborate and spherical nests. They aren't really picky with their food, and they can eat insects, nuts, fungi, nectar, and fruits. They may look like a beast, but if you look past that, these creatures actually have their own charm. Number 12. Gobi Jerboa This creature might just be the cutest rodent ever, but don't let their size and cuteness fool you. They're forces to be reckoned with. The long-eared Jerboa is a tiny rodent native to the deserts of northwest China and southern Mongolia. They have the body of a mouse, ears of a rabbit, a snout of a pig, and mini kangaroo legs. They're usually brown in color, perfect for blending in with the desert sand. A typical Jerboa can grow up to 6 inches from head to tail but you'd be surprised by how high they can jump. Would you believe that a 6-inch creature can leap up to 6 feet? Pretty amazing, right? These animals use their leaping skills as well as their ears to catch food in the desert, which are mostly insects. Number 11. 
Coney Island Creature There are many creatures hiding in the abyss of the ocean. Based on recent research, I guess we can all safely assume that most of them look bizarre, strange, or otherworldly. So when people caught this bizarre animal while fishing in the Coney Island, most people weren't very surprised. The creature looked like a deformed octopus with a long tentacle, two small legs, and a wide gaping mouth. The creature had no visible eyes, but when they laid the creature flat on the floor, they started to see its similarities to a skate. The creature did look out of this world, but after the video got to biologists and experts, they immediately concluded that the alien animal is just a poor, underdeveloped skate. This makes sense because skates are usually found in the area, especially from Massachusetts to Florida. Number 10. Shoebill No, this isn't CGI, nor is this an animatronic. This prehistoric-looking bird is a shoebill stork. They always say that birds are modern-day dinosaurs, and I believed that statement more when I got a good look at the shoebill stork. These amazing birds are native to Uganda. Can you imagine the reaction of the first person that spotted this bird? They probably thought they saw a real-life dino. These birds grow from 3.5 to 5 feet tall, and they can weigh up to 12 pounds. Curiously enough, they have longer lifespans in captivity compared to when they're left in the wild. A shoebill can live up to 50 years in captivity compared to 35 years in the wild. These animals are carnivores if you can't tell already with their huge beaks. They use their bills to grab large prey like lungfish, tilapia, eels, and even snakes. Oh, they'll also snack on baby crocodiles and Nile monitor lizards on a good day. Are you terrified yet? While the shoebill storks look like they'll attack you any time, they're not really aggressive to humans, unless they feel threatened, of course. On the contrary, these guys are pretty chill, and they're often found motionless out in the open while they're waiting for prey. Instead of hurting you, their bills actually have another purpose. They clack and clatter them together to greet each other and to warn off other creatures. There's one particularly interesting shoebill in Japan. The majestic bird bows politely whenever someone approaches it, and when the person in front of them bows back, it's a sign of trust. Kind of reminds you of that one creature in Harry Potter, right? I don't know about you, but the more I know about the shoe bill, the more amazing it becomes. Sadly, there are only between 3,300 and 5,300 shoe bills left in the world, and their population continues to go down. Hopefully, they won't go extinct just like the dodo bird. Number 9. Pink Fairy Armadillo The pink fairy part of this armadillo's name doesn't really accurately describe the creature. This fairy is about 5 inches long and about 120 grams. Instead of little wings, it has a hard shell and long, sharp claws. Despite its name, this animal has a lot of unfairy like features aside from its occasional pink armor and silky white fur. These creatures are endemic to the deserts and shrublands of central Argentina, where they usually stay in their burrows, unless they're out to search for food, which consists of bugs and fruits. They're quite small, which adds to their cuteness. In fact, they're so small that you can easily grab one and perch it on your palm. Number 8. Anglerfish The anglerfish is definitely the creature of nightmares for many. It looks like something out of a science fiction movie, except it's a failed science experiment. The anglerfish is a carnivorous creature that grows up to 40 inches long and weighs up to 110 pounds. Thank God they're small, or else they'll be 10 times scarier. I guess they have a right to be angrier because they're usually dubbed as the ugliest creature on the planet. Moreover, they live in the loneliest, darkest part of our planet. Their way of hunting is also creepy. Female anglers have a piece of dorsal spine that extends above their mouths like a fishing pole. The tip of the so-called fishing pole glows, which attracts poor prey until they're close enough to the anglerfish mouth. In short, these crazy creatures are fishing thousands of feet below the ocean. You're probably wondering if they're only preying on small fish. The answer is no. Just like snakes, their mouths can open wider than what you initially think, and their bodies are pliable enough to store food twice their own size. You might think that they have one redeeming feature that makes them acceptable, or even relatively cute, but nope. These animals are hardcore all the way. In fact, their way of mating might freak you out. Male anglerfish are significantly smaller than females. You see, it's very hard to find a female angler down there in the dark abyss of the ocean. So when a male stumbles upon an unmated female, the male will immediately latch onto her using his sharp teeth like some sort of parasite. He will stay there until the end of their lives. Over time, 
The male will literally fuse with the female completely. Their skin and bloodstream will be connected, and he will slowly lose his eyes and all his internal organs, except the reproductive ones. Are you alarmed yet? Initially, I thought this might be over the top, but I guess it's nice since they mate for life. But let me break it to you. It turns out that one female anglerfish can attach six or more males on her body. Now you know. The next time you're talking about wild animals, remember that the anglerfish is the wildest and weirdest of them all. Number 7. Tardigrades This might be a bit of a stretch since these guys literally can't be seen using an ordinary camera. Tardigrades, often called water bears or moss piglets, are microscopic aquatic animals. You might not like how they look in the microscope, but trust me, they're one of the most amazing and adorable animals on the planet. First discovered in 1773 by the German zoologist Johann August Ephraim, these creatures have captured the interest of many scientists throughout the years. You see, they're very special, not only because of their near-microscopic size, but because of their extreme durability. Tardigrades have eight legs and they're 0.5 millimeters in size. They might be small, but they can possibly survive nearly any environment on this planet. They're found worldwide. They can survive in the deep sea, in the sand dunes, underwater, in lava fields, and even in the freezing Antarctic. They can survive any temperature, dehydration, any pH level, starvation, and more. These guys can easily survive the apocalypse if they want to, although they do have a preference for living in mosses and lichens. These tiny and tough animals have been helping scientists in their space explorations. They were even sent to space. Spoiler alert, the tardigrades survived. Number 6. Fainting Goat A fainting goat is just like an ordinary goat, high on caffeine. Take a look at this video. If you see a goat faint out of nowhere, don't immediately be alarmed. There's a chance that they're just one of these dramatic fainting goats who collapse at the slightest things. Formerly known as the myotonic goats, these animals got the nickname wooden leg goats, Tennessee fainting goats, and nervous goats because of their weird characteristic. These animals have a genetic condition called myotonia congenita, which causes them to be stiff whenever they're surprised or startled, hence the tipping and the collapsing. This genetic problem can also happen to humans, although instead of collapsing, humans with this condition usually suffer from muscle cramps and weakness. Ever since one video of the feigning goat popped up, they became somewhat of an internet meme. They're cute and funny, but many people also express their concern over the goats. They're perfectly okay, and their condition can't be helped because they're hereditary. They just have to live their lives eternally collapsing whenever they're spooked out. Number 5. Red-Lipped Batfish Just like their name suggests, the red-lipped batfish of the Galapagos Islands has a red lip that's perpetually in a frown. They're one of the weird-looking creatures found in the relatively shallow water. Not many people around the world had the privilege of seeing this fish because they can only be found in the Galapagos in the Pacific Ocean. Although they're called fish, they can't swim, and they can only walk stiffly and awkwardly on the sea floor. These creatures have pectoral and pelvic fins that they use to walk, or more accurately, awkward waddle. And now it's time for today's topic. There are many serpent-like creatures out there, Aside from the many weird sea creatures, animals with no legs almost always fall into a mixture of three categories, weird, cute, or deadly. The animal in this picture looked like an eel, but we can't be too sure. Eels are animals that appeared on Earth about 65 million years ago, and they continue to flourish and thrive on the planet to this day. They're part fish, part snake, and they usually have sharp teeth. Because of how terrifying they are, some of them are even called the devil of the sea. Some eel species are smaller, while some can grow up to enormous sizes over the span of 20 years. What do you think this creature is? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Mexican Mole Lizard Just like the Sphinx Cat, the Mexican Mole Lizard is considered to be that one unusual breed of its kind. The Mexican mole lizard is skin-colored, and they look like a cross between a snake and a lizard. Just imagine a skin-colored snake with two small hands near its head. It can be terrifying and disgusting to look at in the beginning, but once you get used to its bizarre appearance, you'll surely appreciate its charm. This round-headed lizard has a tail that can move independently of its body and two legs on the front. 
I think they'd definitely be more amazing if they can grow larger. But sadly, these creatures can only grow up to 9.4 inches long and only 0.3 inches wide. These creatures aren't aggressive and they're quite shy. If you ever come across one, they'll immediately scurry away and hide from you. They usually hide in the sand or dirt and only come out when they really need to search for food. The best part? These guys don't have a mean bone in their body. Even though they have teeth, they rarely bite. And if they do, you won't feel any discomfort at all because their teeth are so small. Number 3. Long Waddled Umbrella Bird This hairy black bird looks like a hit 80s performer because of their bushy crest and feathered waddle dangling from its throat. The long waddled umbrella bird can be found in the lush rainforests of the western part of Ecuador and Colombia. They're quite rare, and not many people come across them. There are only about 1,500 of them in the wild. So what makes these birds special, aside from their appearance? Aside from their weird appearance, these birds also have a very distinct bird call, which they use to communicate, especially during the mating season. Male waddled birds will inflate its waddle and spread their crest feathers until they resemble an umbrella, which explains their name. They're also considered to be one of the clumsiest birds on the planet while flying. In fact, they do better hopping from branch to branch compared to flying. Number 2. Saiga Antelope Saiga antelopes look like typical antelopes, aside from their unusual hanging nose. These weird-looking creatures inhabit a vast region of the Eurasian steppe zone. They can be found in Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. They once existed in China and Mongolia, but they became extinct in the countries due to excessive hunting. These animals can grow up to 55 inches and weigh up to 152 pounds. They can run up to 48 miles per hour. But this is their only advantage over their predators, which consists of wolves, foxes, feral dogs, and various birds of prey. The antelope's nose may look weird, but it actually benefits them. The structure of their noses makes it so they can easily filter out dust in the dry summers in their habitat. Number 1. Venezuelan Poodle Moth When the photograph of the Venezuelan Poodle Moth was released on the internet, it instantly became the internet's most favorite pet. It's quite understandable. Just take a look at this fluffy, fuzzy creature. If Pokémons were real, I bet that this is how they'd look. Its species was first documented by a researcher traveling the Gran Sabana region in Venezuela in 2009. It immediately baffled and mystified many people on the internet, although one artist made millions of internet users all around the world more confused. When the Venezuelan moth was first discovered, an artist decided to create a needle-felted model of the creature to highlight its cuteness. If you think you'll be able to conquer your fears of flying insects if you spot one of these, tough luck! because the Venezuelan poodle moth was only spotted once. These poodle-like moths were only found once, and there are no known samples of these creatures. Until today, they're not much known about them. They're about 30 to 40 millimeters long, and that's about it. Their diet is unknown, their conservation status is unknown, and their diet is also unknown. Because of how astounding they look, many researchers propose several theories about the poodle moths. Some say that the fluff you see on their bodies may be made of chitin, which is a strong mesh of sugars. They're usually used by many animals and insects to make their scales more rigid. Moreover, it also dampens sound, which decreases the moth's chance of being suddenly attacked by a bat, which is considered their predator. In short, their cute fluff is an anti-bat system. The fluff absorbs and muffles the return signal of bats, which renders their echolocation useless. It's hard to separate kinds of moths because there are over 160,000 species of them worldwide, and most of them are nocturnal, which means researchers need to scour the forests at night just to spot a single one. Hopefully, we'll discover more about these curious creatures as time goes on. Which of these creatures is your favorite? Which one intrigued you the most? And do you know of any other strange creatures? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.